So that's the before shot. So let's see when I come home what it's going to look like. Oh, I'm excited. Here we are. Here's the table all constructed. And I'm going, oh, that's lovely, that. So it's a pink canister. The lady said, do you want like a 10 p bag or a mega fancy one for a pound? Grab my clipboard and walk around the house with a pen going, tick, I've done that. My shopping was well and truly wedged into bags, hence why there's a welly with a bottle of Tesco anti back in it. Hello, good morning, how are we all today? Now this vlog is a bit of a weird one, a bit of a back to front, kind of, yeah, a bit of a mess really. Oh uh, yeah, it's a mess, I'm a mess. Ah. But basically I came to edit this video and the first bit was um, a bit wappy so I couldn't use it. So the first bit of this vlog was me getting some old baby stuff together and old kids clothes and new stuff that I put all together into a baby basket for a friend who is having a baby. So that was me, I was faffing about going, oh I'm going to give her that, give her that and then oh I've bought her this and I've put it in a basket. So, oh sorry, you missed out on that. But the next bit is me with the basket saying hi i'm going out now to go and give this to my friend and then also i've bought a new table okay from ikea and i got ian to build it while i was out there we go are we all up to speed let's go to the future no let's go to the past and then we'll come back to the future okay right see you in a minute then good morning i'm off out to meet my friend and here's my little stash there to give to it in fact let's have a quick look oh that was close Hear that thing. See, I've wrapped some bits. I think it looks quite nice. Yeah. So I'm going to give her that. And then Ian, while I'm out, is going to sort this out. Aren't you, Ian? Yeah. This is like the before. So it's those manky, horrible chairs that I hate and they're like rickety and awful and gross. This big table. It's just got to go. See? So that's the before shot. So let's see when I come home what it's going to look like. Oh, I am home. Let's go in and see. Yeah. See how the bench looks and the table. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Whoa. There's a lot more room now, isn't there? I mean, it's a lot smaller, but that is all we need, really. Yes. I like it. I like it. Oh, I need to potter about with my bits and bobs on that table. Need to get my cleaning on though, the floor looks a bit grubby. Yeah, it's because they just had lunch, so. But whoa, there's a lot more space, isn't there? Yes. Morning. I wasn't sure if you were going to have it done. Come on, come on, touch. Did you do it, Effie? Did you put the table Luca. together? Luca, Daddy, and me. Yeah? You yeah, did it. Thumbs up for you. Thumbs up. And the effort. Team Luca. effort. Mummy. Now it's my. Job Mommy. to decorate the table. Mummy, where's yes? on that caterpillar what's so cute going? Uh, there it is. Hello guys, it's late on in the day. It's actually evening and the kids are in bed. Let me pop you up there. Oh, there we go. I'm in my scruffs. And yeah, I've just noticed how shiny I'm looking. Look how shiny my face is. That is clean and tight. Actually feels really nice. Ian was like, why are you so shiny? What's going on? Your face is so shiny. And it actually really is, isn't it? I'll show you in a minute what I'm using to get this shine. Yeah. It's like a lighthouse, isn't it? Right, so today I went and met my friend, gave the baby basket thing, then went to Poundland, got a few bits and bobs, came home, got excited about my table, then had to cook dinner, do all the mum stuff, and then here we are right now. So, um, I thought I'd just show you what I got from Poundland because there's a few things that are nice, I feel. So, yeah, I've got a bit of a mess going on here. I'm looking around at it. <sighs> I feel like I said this in my last vlog, but it's true. It's everywhere. Right, for where to begin? I'll start here. Because you can probably see it in the background and go, oh, that's lovely, that. So it's a pink canister. I bought three. They're all the same. But I thought, like, a tea, coffee, sugar kind of canister. 
a nice like light pink colour and it will go nicely in my kitchen. I'll show you later my new table set up and you're going to see how ooh, the pink's going to go. It's going to go lovely in there. And it's one of those proper sucky ones. You know, it's got the proper, like sometimes you can't get the sodden lid off type and the sugar goes everywhere. It's one of them, but at least it's not going to go mouldy. So yeah, a nice wooden lid, cream, it's not, it's pink. And I've got three, so they're a pound each. Now I think everything today was a pound. I don't think there was anything like in the sneaky two pound section or the, the very sneaky five pound section. Gets me every single time, got me again today because I saw something, I was like, yes, I'm having it. Realised it was a five pound section every single time. But yeah, I think everything is pound. Then there's these two cupcakes. I bought two because they're for my nieces for their birthdays. They're a few days apart. And I just thought they're really sweet. So it's a cupcake soap, has glitter on the top and then a little flower as well. And it's actually in a little cupcake case. The box is nice, it smells nice. Yeah, and you look at the cake and you're like, do you know what, I could actually eat that. You know, it does look like a cupcake. Not like one your mum's made, one that you've actually gone out and bought from a nice bakery. Do you know what I mean? So, I was well chuffed with those for a pound. Because these can be quite pricey, like, 2 99 or something but no i got it for a pound made with love in the uk so there you go then what else oh oh i got food i'll go on to that in a minute so this one is a zesty citrus loafer loafer <laughs> a loafer soap a loafer loofer soap a scrubby soap orange it's got the scrubby bit inside we turn it like that See the scrubby bit at the top there. I don't know what happens when you get beyond the scrub. Does it kind of fall out? I don't know. But I really wanted the fresh and fruity, feeling zesty, citrus love. That's what it says on the packet. I wanted that feeling. I wanted it to be in the shower. Like, oh, oh, that's fresh. That is. Mm, so this is the orange one, obviously, citrusy. There's a seaside one, like a sea breezy type one. And then a coconut one. I fancied a bit of citrus, so yeah. A pound again. Oven glove, a pound. They have a grey one as well. My oven glove is horrendous. Horrendous is the word. It's a double one, but yeah, I don't know why you needed to know that. It's a double one and it's manky. It is so manky. I wouldn't want to swab test that at all. It's going to be thrown. It's going to be bleached, burnt, thrown far away. But this is replacing it. So like I said, there's the pink and the grey. I was like, oh, I'm debating both because they both fit with my colour scheme. But I thought, don't go wild, go with one. And I went with pink. Next, okay, we've got a picnic coming up tomorrow. So I bought some feed stuff. Um, this isn't for the picnic actually, but the Vimpto Squash Remix. But the standard one is the Remix. Effie really likes the normal Vimto. Vimto, I'm tired, sorry, I'm just, oh. She likes the normal Vimto, so I got the not normal Vimto. Hopefully she'll like it. I thought, you know, it's got to taste a little bit vimto is isn't it? That was a pound. Then for the picnic, I got Barney chocolate bears, cakey ones with chocolatey bits inside. Then, oh, these look good. Randoms, love a bag of randoms, but these ones are random squishums. So I think they've got like really squishy bits. Well, the name would suggest that, wouldn't it? That would be really squishy. I can feel the squishiness actually. So yeah, the kids are gonna love them. And then this was, well, I was gonna say it was for the picnic, but it's not really. I think it might be for later, uh, like in 10 minutes kind of thing. Crunchy caramel M&Ms, mm, limited edition. Not just caramel, crunchy caramel. It sounds good, doesn't it? It's a bit of a small bag for a pound. I mean, it's not share size in my opinion. Does it say it's a share size? No. No, they've learnt their lesson saying it's a share size when it's not. I can swallow the whole thing whole. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is probably not going to make it, sadly, to the picnic. Doritos. Exciting times. Pack of five for a pound. I bought plasters, LOL sticker ones, because Effie loves the plaster and she loves lol dolls so yeah i was having a look at these earlier actually because they don't look that exciting there's the blue one which the majority of the pack are and then there's a few big ones 
You can actually use these as actual stickers, actual stickers on the wall. I wouldn't like encourage that, but the big ones are nice. So I think I might use it on my next injury. Then for my niece's birthdays, I've got playing cards with Mickey on it. Can you see it's Mickey embossed? Oh, it's tricky, it's tricky. Can you sort of see it? Well, it's like that shape, Mickey shape, standing there. For if he could colour it in and make it exciting. It's a pack of five, so we've got five attempts, but we need two cards and the envelopes as well. And then to go with that, stickers. So two for a pound, animal ones, star ones. So they're gonna be covering Mickey pretty much. Then, possibly my favourite thing, I think, because everyone's gonna laugh, well, not everyone, but I know Ian will, <sighs> clipboards. I bought three clipboards. Looking at it in this light, they do look a bit naff, don't they? But, you know, I'm just getting used to the principle and then if I really, really use them, I might upgrade to a two pound one. But for now I'm going with a one pound one. It's like a foldery one. So you could clip things on the outside, clip things on the inside. So what I was going to do is have a list for like my bloggy, vloggy kind of stuff. Have a list for kid stuff. Have a list for, I don't know, houseworky kind of stuff, right? And then I'm going to have it in my office all lined up. So then I can walk in, grab my clipboard and walk around the house with a pen going, tick, I've done that, tick. And then when it's done, I put it back and then I select my next board and I, that's my to-do. It's basically a, a big to-do list. Instead of having like three bits of paper, I'm going to put them onto a bit of clipboard. But I feel proper. You know, I feel like I'm achieving something in life if I've got a clipboard. So yeah, you know, like I've made it in the organisation world. So three of them. And then, yes, that was it, I think, apart from this bag, which I actually thought was quite nice. The lady said, do you want like a 10p bag or a mega fancy one for a pound? You can get loads in there and oh, there's so many designs, like on the upsell or what. Um, and I just liked the lemon one. I thought, yeah, that's really Dolce and Gabbana. Do you know what I mean? I looked at that and thought that is Dolce and Gabbana. I'm not even joking, I actually did think that. So ignore the Pep and Co thing on the side. That says big old Poundland world, whatever it is. I have to hide those bits, but the lemons, are, yeah, they give me joy. I like it. So yeah, that was a pound. <sighs> right, so that's it for the Poundland haul stuff that I really needed. Mm -hmm. Like these needed them. You always need them. Now what I'm gonna do is go and faff about with my table and show you what, oh, actually no. I'm gonna show you my face stuff so you can see why I'm shining like a beacon. Oh no, got the old, uh, got no bra on sag. Sorry, I'm gonna go like this. Right, so I've been using this, which I'm really, really enjoying. The Carbon Theory Tea Tree Oil Citric Acid Toner. So that really cleans the skin, gets you squeaky clean and gives you a little bit of glow. I've been washing with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm for my makeup. Doing my second cleanse with, I don't know, what should I do today? I think I did that as my second cleanse. I don't think you really should do that, I think you should properly cleanse, but I think that's what I did today. Then, Luna, Luna Retinol Oil. <laughs> Sunday Riley, next generation retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness. So I've been using that for a few nights. I bought this ages ago, put it on once, and then it was like, oh, it's not a miracle thing, so I'm not going to bother again. You know, it was one of those moments, but I've got it back out, and I come on now, I'll give it a proper go. So that's what I'm doing. So I've used it twice now, I'm giving it a proper go. But yeah, two nights in a row and I'm shining like a beacon. I've still got lines and sag on, but we'll keep going. It says, smooth skin and loveliness in four weeks. Oh, so long to wait, but I'm gonna wait. Ooh, ooh, while I'm here, I just feel like I'm showing you around the house, basically showing you everything that just happened to be lying around. That's pretty much what I'm doing. I'll show you these. Uh, I got sent, kindly, very, thank you very much, people from this brand, what are they called, I can't remember, um, Jelly Bath, Z 
Zimply Kids, that's it. They sent me a load of this. There's Jelly Bar. Unicorn Slime. Another Jelly Bar. Glitter Jelly Bar. Bath Bombs. I don't know what's special about these. Oh, they're scented. Bath Bombs, B-A-F-F. Glitter Slime. And then what's this one? Rainbow Jelly Snow. I showed this to Ian and he was like, because <gasps> he hates mess. So he was not happy. But the kids will be when they see it. Hours of fun this stuff. So yeah, it's one of those summer holiday days when it's wet. So we're going to have like an all day bath with jelly upon jelly upon slime kind of day. But yeah, fun to be had there. We have used um, one of the slimes before and it is a bit like, whoa, get that down the plug hole. Kind of thing but oh well kids love it Ian not so much so what I'm gonna do now is either go and eat my M&Ms or I'm gonna faff with my table you'll see what I do next <laughs> so why do I do that with my eyes you'll see what I do coming up now hello and back we are again to this part of the vlog I know I told you it was a bit weird this vlog a bit backwards forwards to know what's going on anyway so I didn't faff about with my table that night. I um, ate the M&Ms, but I have been faffing since. I'm gonna show you my table now. I still need to have a potter about. Basically the house is a mess. Um, yeah, it's back to school next week. So I'm hoping to get back into routine next week. Fingers crossed. I've also done my back to school shop. So I'll show you those bits and mobs. But yeah, let's have a look at the nice fancy table. So, here we are. Here's the table all constructed. I have the two chairs there. So it's like a motley kind of cream colour, plastic chairs. They're actually into two pieces here, so it's not one solid piece, but yes, plastic chairs. And then the table, which is nice and small and sleek and fits the area well. And then I have a bench there. So I've been faffing about with cushions. I have this greeny gold one pink and silver so this area is a bit well i've got gold silver and pink and green kind of going on and i do you know what i actually like it i'm liking the clashing vibes i'm loving the pink and green together the gold and silver i'm kind of liking it but i think i may end up going for all silver i don't know but i'm kind of liking the clashing vibe i put this little basket in here purely because i don't know there's nothing in it it's decoration <laughs> It's just I just like the look of it, so I've put it there. What else do we have here? So I picked these up the other day from b and M. I do actually have another video coming up of me shopping in b and M. Again, this vlog's all back to front, hence why you're looking at it now. But I really like these. It's like a spotty um, tea light holder and then a ribbed one as well. And it's about 150 or something. I just think they look really nice. So I've popped them there for now. I have my IKEA vase. Um, plant pot and the Ikea pink runner This plant I got from Aldi. I think it was like a 3.99 jobby and it's not dying It's it's look. It's got new leaves coming through. I'm well chuffed So I killed my last one, but that one's thriving. I'm so happy and I think it looks really nice there What else do we have here? I have the pink salt um, candle holder there I have a mouse randomly that's not meant that's not decoration it's just been plonked there but anyway that's the table area for now I'm actually really happy with it yeah I think this space looks a lot bigger I'm not going to show you well okay I'll show you Ugh. God. it's just yeah this is life let's just look at this side let's just pretend this is the side not this side I have a child half dressed over there but I do that this side, yeah, I don't think this needs work and my board of life, that's what I called it, the board of life is a bit of a mess. This table here is the one Ian was referring to that he hates, but I like it. So I've got a bit of gold going on here, gold and silver here. But anyway, it's starting to look good, I think, apart from that. Yeah, I'm liking it. <sighs> right, let's just carry on with this random video. I'm going to show you what I got yesterday. I've still got the bags here. Of the stuff that I've dumped and it's the back to school stuff just in case you haven't done yours yet 
um, and you want to see what there is, I'll just, I'll just, yeah, let's have a look. I went to Asda Home and they had a George clothing section and I really liked the stuff that they had in there. They had a really massive selection and I got pretty much everything I needed apart from a blue skirt. So, yes, I think I may have to go back to M&S for that one. But look, nice little dress there, four pounds, bit of a bargain. Pack of 10 socks for three pounds. Can't go wrong. Three pounds for 10 pairs, brilliant. Pack of two vests for two pound 50. Not vests, um, polo shirts, there we go. Stay white. <gasps> they lie, why, why, how dare they lie? Stay white, yeah right. Stay white, yeah right. That was in there, that, we didn't get that. Let's just turn up in there. And this, that was in the bag. I had to take her mobile phone out. So we have lunch boxes because those have gone a bit manky. T-Rex for Luca. Unicorn for Effie. Oh, kind of jealous of that one. Okay, I need that one. These were four pounds? I don't know. I could double check that one. I think they're more like seven pounds actually. Little hair clip. Blue bow hair clip, £2.50. Couple of bottles. These Systema ones. They're like quite nice and soft and twisty lid. So one of those each. Yeah, so I'm getting there, getting sorted. We nipped into Clark's as well. Got a pair of school shoes, there you go. I always get like one nice pair, like a Clark's pair, and then everything else is like, I don't know, wherever. But I think her feet are in these for the majority of the time, so I like to get one nice pair and then the rest is anything goes. My shopping was well and truly wedged into bags, hence why there's a welly with a bottle of Tesco anti back in it. So if you needed a pair of wellies for outdoor stuff at school, look. Deodorant. Mitchum. I love this stuff. These were reduced, so I had to grab these. I think they were like they were £10 down to six or something. So it's a unicorn head. And it's got fluff in it as well. These were from Tesco's. Dog toy, because someone I know, a neighbour, has a puppy. A dog toy that was from TK Maxx. Again, this is yeah, just a bit of a mixture going on here, guys. And then something for me because just because it's a cardi. Well, it's kind of a cardi, it's like a smart, kind of long cardi. Oh, I really, really like this. Yeah, when I tried it on, I was like, yes, you know, when you put some money, like, yes, 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 that's an immediate yes, and it was so it has like different panels on it, kind of like a check print on the front. It's grey, it's got that new smell, a bit like, actually it's got that market smell, like market clothes smell, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was from Asda, but hey, 18 pounds, and it's just like a really smart cardigan, It's kind of like in between. Put it on actually, so you can see doing it no favours with this shirt on. Here we go. You get the gist there, you get the gist. Anyway, I'm gonna save that for another vlog because, yeah, I want to save the excitement of revealing the cardigan. Right, so that's that. I've gotta go because someone's binging on my phone saying, where are you? We need to go, go, go. Um, hopefully I can get a bit more organised next week because like I said kids are back to school and yes I need to sort my stuff out. So thank you for watching this vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>